what are we gonna do? One of us is gonna have to drive this thing. Well, why don't you just ask the car to drive itself? The autonomous and ADAS systems of this vehicle are completely activated. Whose ass? ADAS, Advanced Driver Assistance Systems. You mean... This vehicle has level 4 autonomous driving functionality. So, what are you saying? The, the car, car can, can drive, drive itself. itself! No way! Bixby, take us back to the convention. You, give me the 9,000. Yeah, that idea about the car driving itself? I thought of that. I can't even. So how does this thing know what's happening on the road? It's loaded with cameras. Like that mirror, for example. It's powered by cameras and sensors. It helps you drive safer by correcting distortions in your field of view and giving you helpful information, like distance to a curb when you're parking. That's great when you're driving, but what can it do on its own? This car also has a forward-facing camera. It's our first Addis product. It can manage cruise control and even warn the car of lane departures, pedestrians, or even potential collisions. <sighs> Sounds pretty smart. It's not just smart. It's constantly learning to get better. Learning? <sighs> Seriously, who hired you? Never mind. Yes, it's learning. It analyzes the data from all the other autonomous cars out there and converts it into insights. So this car is generating data right now? Yes. This car is using Samsung cameras. It analyzes the data to generate information about everything the car does. Think of it like a virtual co-pilot riding alongside us, making sure we're safe. All that information goes to the cloud. Over 5G! Right. Then it gets mashed up with all the data from the other cars on the road to form a playbook of rules for autonomous cars to follow. You have approximately 44 seconds until Mike Peters takes the stage. That just about does it. I guess this is it. Yeah, we did it. it kind of feels like we should uh, high five or something, right? What the hell?